What's up, YouTubers and Rachel players, and welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox and review the electronic retro game from the HEMA. Is it any good? You will find out in this video. Most of you know the drill by now. I'm checking out a lot of handhelds and other cheap games to see if they are any good as a Christmas or Santa Claus present. So, first things first, the name, Electronic Retro Game. That's just awful. <laughs> Air. Ah, you're a retro gamer. No, Electronic Retro Game. Ah, oh, what a garbage. So, um, the, not, not uh, this name, not the Euro Retro Gamer. That's an awesome channel, by the way. Uh, 200 built-in 8-bit video games. And what I see here, I've seen this screen before. So I think I'm gonna be in a lot of pain. Another bulk load of Chinese knockoffs. But what's interesting to me is this crank right here. I'm guessing I'm gonna crank up the volume or I could put a helium balloon or a laughing gas balloon at this <laughs> handheld. If that would be the case, this thing would have sold out in a heartbeat. Um, but anyway, the reason that I decided to review this game or handheld is because um, I've never seen it before. I've seen this handheld before, but in different packaging and with different colors. So is this an upgrade, a downgrade? I don't know. Um, let's check out the back. Oh man, oh, I recognize a couple of games from these screenshots right here. And for the parents that are watching this video and that are maybe interested in buying this product, don't. There are no Pokemon games on here. There are no Zelda or Mario games on here. These are just games that are loosely based on old retro games. They're not as much fun uh, to play or watch. So uh, just avoid. Hey, what's this? Retro handheld game? I thought this was the electronic retro game. Huh? Retro handheld game. This retro game has 200 fun well, that's debatable. And easily playable 8-bit video games. The game has a 2.8-inch TFT screen and is usable in dark and light environments due to the backlights. Requires batteries, recycling. Uh, let's uh, start the unboxing before we can start the review. I just unboxed the handheld from the HEMA, nothing to it. Now, normally I say, real men don't read manuals. But this time I'm gonna make an exception because I really want to know what this crank is. What's it for? Let's check out the manual. <clears throat> you have got to be kidding me. <clears throat> Let's uh, just play it. Let's test some games. Personally, I just wanted to review this handheld and get it over with, put some batteries in here. But I'm a reviewer, so I just have to mention a couple of things that are kind of interesting. First of all, Hema, I just unboxed this handheld and there are already scratches on the screen. Why isn't there a screen protector on this handheld? Every other handheld that I reviewed before this one has a screen protector. Your handheld doesn't. So, well, go figure. The D-pattern feels okay, it's not the best, not the worst. The action buttons feel kind of strange, like you're only pushing them halfway. They're too close to the surface. It's just a real awkward feeling. Talking about awkward feelings, this handout has a problem that I've seen before. On the Crytfoot version, if I'm correct, the select button pushes a lot lighter than the start button. You have to press twice as hard to get this one down than the select button. It's real awkward, real awkward. Then you have this crank. Still don't know what it does. I thought about volume control, but the volume control is over here. So I'm, I'm baffled by this. So uh, without any further ado, batteries and gameplay. No, wait, one more thing that I need to mention. It's just light. It feels so light, like there's almost nothing in here. The weight is off. And the plastic, I reviewed handhelds from the Action, the Lidl, the Kreifat, and even some AliExpress versions in the past. And I mentioned this again and again, but the Hema is now my number one. This plastic feels like the cheap 
cheapest plastic I've ever felt before. I got a feeling that if I press too hard, I'm gonna break it. I mean, ugh. let's just, let's play some games. All right, here we go. Oh no, F-22? Well, it is what I expected. You always hope for the best, but sometimes you get the worst. Look at all these awesome games with some epic titles like Fighter and Violent or Bounce. Ugh. So um, let's test out a few. Let's start with number one. That's fitting, isn't it? Number one. The game I've seen many times before, F-22. Whoa! <laughs> the volume was off the charts. Damn. The most games that are on this Hema handheld are absolute rubbish. But there are a few that I find interesting or just a little bit entertaining. So I'm going to show you those games instead of all the crappy ones. A sword! Utmost Warfare. I'm impressed by the intro. Well, let's play this game. Utmost Warfare. One player, Kia 5. Wow, this is just a little bit too... ...messy. Too much for the first level, but oh, I hate the music already. Let's, I'm impressed by the intro, but the rest sucks. Let's move on. Number 16, this one is interesting. Call cool, it's just a calculator. I didn't know a calculator was a game, but um, you learn something every day, I guess. Nine times nine. That's 81. Well, at least this works. <laughs> do, 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 do. This reminds me of the uh, unreleased software for the Game Boy, the Work Boy. Uh, how do you spell Oli Ball? There was something for it. Something to get fun, I guess. I don't know. Ah. Uh. Fish War. I love a good fishing game. Let's see what we get. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed by the graphics. The graphics looks nice. They do look nice for this game. So, I'm guessing I'm attacking the other fish. Oh yeah, works like that. Well, at least this is a little bit entertaining. Fall in the hole! Yeah. Ugh. Get it over here. Wow. No level 2, the game just freezes. <laughs> well, this is kind of okay. Pizza Boy, this is one of those games just like F122 that's on every handheld clone. Let's start this. It's time for a final conclusion. I can be very quick and shift about this handheld. Don't buy it, it's absolute garbage. 
that about wraps it up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video. I'm gonna get me some real pizza. Yeah. Crank it up!